we are now on the website of Volusion, probably the main competitor of Shopify, another company that um, offers hosted e-commerce. Uh, their headquarters are located in Texas and in London. Let's have a look at uh, the showcase, a big number of featured stores. Um, I think one of the most interesting is uh, National Geographic UK store. Let's have a look at this site. Let's try. Maybe it's not very impressive in terms of graphical design, uh, but anyway, it's a important big client. Let's go back to the Volusion site. Let's have a look at the pricing. Uh, the prices are probably slightly cheaper. It's slightly cheaper than Shopify. Um, the plans start with uh, nine pounds monthly. Okay, we have a try it free option, so let's give them a try. Okay, so first they ask for my data. Okay, I sped it up a little bit. So, start my trial. And uh, here it is. I default Volusion online store. Um, one thing we can notice here is that uh, this store is actually already full of items and also categories. So there is a lot of products already here. Let's try to do some shopping. Armchair. Add to cart. Okay, continue shopping. Let's add something speciality items. White flower honey. Add to cart. Going to check out. Okay, we can calculate shipping costs. Total quite a lot. Proceed to check out. Billing information. Um, in general, it seems um, that this store is maybe a little bit more complex than a Shopify store. Maybe it has more features. But uh, let's have a look at the administration side. I will click now at dashboard. Here it is. It is also already populated with some fake order data running from 30th October. Uh, let's have a look at the options here. Just a quick review of these options show that uh, we probably have here much more features than Shopify with recurring billings, um, customer reviews, knowledge base, a uh, lot about inventory, marketing, also design, reporting and settings. Let's go to inventory and let's try to, first of all, Browse for existing items on stock. There's plenty of them. As many as 72 default products. Okay, so let's try to add something. We'll add our familiar green bird Christmas decoration code this is an internal reference code price 4.99 weight 0.1 description our standard lorem ipsum text categories i will now add to one of the existing categories uh, beauty gourmet home accessories. Okay, save it to home accessories. We also have image ma in management here, 
So let's add a picture. Okay. Upload. Okay, now save it. Let's just quickly browse to check if everything is okay. Looks fine. Let's go back to the list of all products and our new product is already visible here. So it's time to click at store font. Alright, and now under home decor, home accessories, we should find our green bird Christmas decoration and here it is. Uh, click maybe here to browse uh, the product page, add to cart. The price is correct, everything, thing, uh, everything looks fine. The next thing to do will be to create a special category of products for Christmas decorations. Let's uh, go back to the dashboard. Okay, inventory and categories. And uh, we will now add a new category. Category name are uh, decorations. Subcategory of uh, nothing. I I'd like this to be the top top level category. Show in menu, top menu, please. Okay. Advanced settings. We we'll add the moment here. I will save this category. Okay, and I will add one more category. for Christmas. Okay, this time it will be a subcategory of decorations. Show in top menu. Okay. Save it again. And now let's get back to the products. Choose our Green bird Christmas decoration and uh, edit its categories. Actually, we could, we should, uh, it should be possible to create a new category directly from this page, but I have to admit I tried this and um, it didn't work very properly. So I'm trying now the other way and uh, let's look for decorations for Christmas. Save, save again. Okay. Should be fine. It's listed here and the decorations for Christmas are time to go to the storefront. And uh, we indeed have decorations for Christmas. And our item is here. The next step, something that uh, wasn't necessary in case of Shopify, is to get rid of all these 72 items that we are actually not going to sell. All these items that are just for demonstration. So let's get back to dashboard, inventory products. Okay, I will try to delete everything, but leave my green bird Christmas decoration, save. Are you sure you want to delete these 24 records? Yes, delete. Okay, uh, it's not all, it was just the first page of product, so we will repeat it for the second page. And for the third page. And now our product is the only one in the inventory. Now let's get rid of uh, the decorate, uh, sorry, uh, categories that we don't need. Okay, delete, 
delete this category and all its subcategories. Yes, delete. Okay, the same thing with home decor. So, in just a moment, we should get rid of all standard stuff that Volusion Store came with and only have our decorations for Christmas. So, let's have a look at the storefront. Exactly. So, now our product is the only product available in this store. Our next challenge is to check how easy it is to change the graphical theme of this store. So, go again to dashboard. Design template. Okay, we very quickly arrive to a gallery of 330 various design layouts. Um, generally, the level of prices is much higher, I think, than that in case of Shopify, but fortunately, there should be some free designs as well. This one would be probably similar to what we had with Shopify. Free, get it. It's transferring much faster than Shopify, I have to admit. Uh, okay. Now, what is it? It's a bit confusing, uh, but um, in saved templates, I can find wood code with it to activate it. Okay. Hopefully, clicking at the storefront, yes, it's already here. So let's have a look at our Christmas decorations. Choose a subcategory, all right. In the meantime, I have added another two products so that to populate this list a little bit better. Uh, let's have a look at the individual individual product web page. So changing the design is uh, similarly easy as in case of uh, Shopify. Um, the last thing to do is to get rid of, of this uh, completely inadequate for our um, store banner. I have to admit that I found it astonishingly difficult to do. Going back to the dashboard, um, after long search, I found this option here, site content, okay, which is quite amazing because there is so plenty of stuff here that you can configure, change nearly every message that is displayed by the system. Um, but down, down, down here is our banner. Unfortunately, when you click to edit it, the only thing that you can do is actually to modify HTML, HTML source code. Um, in this point, I simply gave up. Um, I think we will, we will leave the store at the current stage, like this. As a kind of a final message here, comparing Volusion and Shopify. They are both, in general terms, similar, because they are both hosted solutions for the e-commerce stores. Thought this, Volusion has by far more configuration options and more features. If you need these features, you should definitely take Volusion. On the other hand, Shopify is by far easier to use, and its uh, user interface is much more user-friendly. There are options in Volusion as exchanging the banner, which are astonishingly difficult to achieve. Thank you.